So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make procedural sponges in Blender, which means we're going to be messing with some nodes to create a procedural material. And we're going to make the most basic version of this, so if you don't want the headache of nodes, just want a pre-made sponge material with sliders you can easily play around with, or just want to support your boy CG Matter, then make sure to pick up the completed material over at the Blender Market. Other than that, let's get started making SpongeBob. So with Blender open, we're going to start by setting up our basic scene. To do this, go to the Render tab and toggle the engine over to Cycles with Experimental Mode enabled. Now detonate the default cube, replace it with the UV sphere, and in the Modifiers tab, add a sub division surface modifier with adaptive enabled. For those of you that don't have this button, please go punch yourself because I already told you to enable experimental. Finally, head over to the shading workspace, toggle over to rendered mode, and in the material tab under settings, switch displacement from bump only to displacement and bump. We can also set up a basic HDRI for better lighting, but this step isn't mandatory. We now finally have our scene set up, which means I can start confusing you with some nodes. The first thing we want to do is add some circular pores to our material. The easiest way to do this is by adding a Voronoi texture node, sending this through a color ramp node, and bringing down the second handle, which will create our circles. Next, we're going to convert this into normal detail, and to do this, just send this through the height socket of a bump node, attach this to the normal socket, and again punch yourself in the face because we want smaller pores instead of these big ones. We can control this with the Voronoi scale and the distribution with the Voronoi randomness. Next, to add some extra interest, just add in a noise texture with a large scale and maximum detail, add this with our other noise using a math node, and with another math node set to multiply, use this to control the intensity of our second noise. Now back over to the principled BSDF, just choose whatever sponge color you want, bring down the specular a bit, and set the roughness to something larger. Larger. For a bit more depth, you can try mixing our base color with some ambient occlusion by using mix RGB in our normal mapping from before, but this isn't really physically accurate. So the final step is going to be adding some true displacement to our material to deform the geometry, and here's how we do it. First, add in a displacement node hooked to our displacement socket. Next, use our combined noises as the height input. And lastly, set the mid-level to 1 and bring down the scale a ton unless your sponges at home look like this. I mean, imagine trying to clean your countertops with something like that. And now that we have our completed material, you can apply this to any object to get a fully procedural seamless result. But there you go, you now know the basics of creating a spongy material, and again, make sure to check out the full completed material over at the Blender Market for the easy-to-use pre-made sliders and to help support your Blender tutorial master. But other than that, I've been CG Matter, you've been you, Bye bye